This is Robert Wood with OraLED LED demonstrating the difference between a standard compact fluorescent layout that comes with your BioCube. Being your two compact fluorescents, one a Tenic, one 10,000K 24 watt bulbs. Getting ready to retro this tank with a full OraLED retro replacing the compact fluorescents. Now we already have done a full retro on this tank, which is the 29, and you can see an obvious color difference, shimmer effect, par intensity, color value, and just as natural ambient color. The Wells Coral was added last week to test the red and has picked up the magenta, the large Acan brain in the bottom has also picked up the magenta rings on the inside of the mouth, the dark purple. And that's only with a five pack in there as test. So um, we're getting ready to do a submerged test for everybody to show how waterproof the LEDs actually are. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot of the Aura LEDs. We have a uh, standard five pack of white, which we're also getting ready to do the retro of the 13 with. So. Go ahead and open the box up. Tamper proof sticker. It's tamper proof. <laughs> Alright, and that's exactly what we receive. What we're going to do here is take out our power supply. Be your standard 12 volt. DC converter power supply, six foot cord, let's pick up the trash, and go ahead and set that down. This will be your standard five pack, or lead white, 1.1. Fully submersible modules. Go ahead and take them out. And the five pack equals a two foot strip, which you can see have a full three inch gap between each LED module. So, I mean, in comparison to the front of the tank, you can see one two foot will cover a 29 bio cube without a problem. So what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and just stick her in the tank. Take your connector. You're going to take your male-female waterproof connector. And yeah, I am getting contaminants in the tank right now, but this is for y'all just to show how waterproof they are and everything. So, And we're going to freak the fish and everybody out, but here we go. As you can see... We are fully 100% waterproof, submergible all the way up. As I stayed in everything to, Courtney, if you would, the soldered flex tight connection. So all the way up to that board, and actually below that connection, you are good. But, I mean, we don't want to start shocking the fish or anybody. So as you can see, we can actually go through here and spotlight some stuff if you want. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this process real quick with each color. Go ahead and take them out. Okay. Now everything past the power supply is DC. So there's no issue with actual getting shocked or, you know, getting hurt by the current. Don't be sticking your fingers in the end of it, though. You might get... Oops. So next we're going to do the red. as I'll show you. Same packaging product. I'm going to save open in the power supply. The power supply is standard for the 5 and 10 pack. On the 15 pack you do get a larger power supply obviously because there's more wattage. The custom hoods come with two 90 watt power supplies to go ahead and give some information on that. 
do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and float her in. My fish look like they might want to eat it. Make your male-female oh, connection. Let me see that again. There you go. And we're actually going to... That one's a little stiff there. That one might be reversed. Actually, I have to use the power supply because they are handmade and tested with each power supply. So that's a good note. Make sure you do use each power supply that comes with your strip because it is conducive with that unit. As you can see, we didn't have a defective product. You do just have to use the power supply that is shipped with you in that package because when we hand make them, sometimes the polarity is reversed and that is in the shop to quality control. So now you can see the intensity of the red. There's absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, it's a color preference, preference as well. Some people like them, some people don't. But you can see the coral, it makes it healthy, thick actually increases the photosynthesis qualities of the water. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do a red now. I mean a blue. And this is how exactly the blue comes is another five pack now the blue because they're 1.5 watts instead of 1.1 actually come with the integrated heat sink which is stated in the list and which will show you give you a good close-up of honey and this is uh, obviously patent pending everything is built in so that you don't have that large board that wastes space and everything like that now these two, a lot of people want to disbelieve because of the aluminum casing, are fully submersible. So, yet again, use the same power supply shipped with it. Just love it. <laughs> so go ahead and float her. All right, and that's it for the submersible demonstration and product demonstration video. We're going to go ahead and get ready to do some still shots and shoot the video for the full retro of the 13 Bio Cube. And there's a final shot on both. <laughs> funny thing is you can actually see the coral responded instantly to the blue LEDs if you look at the ACAN and his tentacles the instant 450 stimulated the coral brought out the feeding tentacles instantly so amazing Thank you. We'll see you in a minute and happy reefing.